Thanks for watching this short video on whether banks prefer giving credit cards to people with no credit or bad credit. Basically, if you have no credit, you have a lack of a credit history uh, on your on your record. This is this can be actually anybody, whether it's an immigrant or a college student or just anybody who hasn't gotten around to actually using their own credit cards yet. And to the banks, that could mean that you carry a higher credit risk in their eyes. So they don't know, because you don't have any kind of history, whether or not you would pay your payments on time and in the full amount. Regular payments and use of the credit that you do receive, if you, if you can get credit, um, are important. Uh, like small payments on groceries and, and gasoline that'll actually end up building your credit history up pretty well if an individual has had a run in uh, a good credit department and and then basically they they found some kind of difficulty so if you've had a bad credit history uh, but it's only been recent uh, maybe you've had good credit for a while and then suddenly in the recent economy, um, you ran into some trouble, the banks will actually take that into consideration. So it's actually better, it actually kind of means that having bad credit is better than having no credit at all, which seems kind of counterintuitive, but if you've had any kind of good credit history, at least the banks can look on that instead of just being completely in the dark about whether or not they're going to get paid back. You can read more about this uh, in the full article, which is at gettingcreditcardswithnocredit.net, or you can click the link at the top of this video's description. And if you're interested in more topics about managing your credit or protecting yourself from ID theft, go to mycreditlocker.com or scoredriven.com.